Sometimes even the most well-trained horses can have bad trim days. So this video is a, a young horse that I've trimmed a couple times now. And he's a really lovely young horse. And he has really wonderful owners that spend a lot of time with him. And he's actually usually um, one of the best horses that I, I get to trim. And so when he showed up on this day with some of the behavioral issues he was presenting, I was really surprised. And normally he just stands there like a champ. So. This video is not actually a good video um, of a trimmer. I don't think it is, but it's a good video that shows some of the things I might do to kind of micromanage my way through a trim. And the biggest thing that I usually tell people is that when I come across a problem with a horse that doesn't want to pick up its hooves or let me hold its hooves or let me put that hoof between my legs and on the stand, um, I don't usually hyper focus on that specific thing. I will find a brace somewhere else that the horse is presenting to me and work on that thing. And once I kind of remove that brace, usually picking up their hooves and trimming their feet is not as big of an issue anymore. So that's what I did in this video. I worked on getting him soft with leading, coming forward and going backwards, and I worked on putting a bend through his neck and his head and his pole. And those are just a couple things I'll do in a small space, like when I'm working in the shop like I am in this video, when I don't have a lot of room uh, to do some of the things I might do if I was outside in a big space. So, thought it was really interesting. <laughs> Hopefully everybody else finds it interesting too. And uh, yeah, ooh, I just had one more thought to share before we begin with the footage of me actually trimming this young horse. And that is that during his appointment, we were kind of throwing ideas back and forth and trying to problem solve why he was behaving the way he was because it was so out of character for him. And I think we all kind of came to the conclusion that it might be coming from um, a change in diet that had recently occurred. Since it had gotten cold, they had started adding alfalfa into his daily diet. And sometimes alfalfa can make a young horse like that a little on the hot side. So kind of following the theory of Occam's razor, usually the simplest answer is the correct one. They decided they'd probably go home and remove that from his diet and see if that made any positive behavior changes. So fingers crossed that uh, that's what the answer is. We'll find out next time. Okay, that's it, I swear. I'll stop talking now and you can see what I actually did. <laughs> Good boy, on a rock star. Yeah, he might just be having some growing pains. Where they, for a while they go along to get along and then they get to a certain age and they start going, well, why? <laughs> so we're like, oh yeah. Hold on. There. Yes. Yes. Those are having a bad day. Hold on, pick it up. Well, you gotta come back now. Well, we'll make you face this way then. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Easy. Here, mister, come here. We're just gonna get you a little softer. Thick. 
Oh well. See? Yes. Now go back. Good. Now go forward. Good. One more step. I felt a brace. Good boy. I know, it's weird. That this is a big old tractor right here. There we go. He's not one to spook. Hi. He's like, I am just a young horse. And I'm just learning all the new things. They, they just go through things like that. And I think the last time he came here, um, one of the other horses was pretty mean to him. Yeah, so it might have nothing to do with like training or anything. He might have just been like, I don't want to get in there with her. <laughs> Yes. So it might be all that it was. In the front, <laughs> by herself. <laughs> Hold on. I'm get you. Hold on. There. Okay, now to the other front foot. And we'll do his hinds last. There you go. Yeah. No, she looked how she normally does. So yeah, see how he's fine for the most part with me holding it like this? Cause he doesn't feel as trapped. So I think today he's feeling a little trapped. So when I have it between my legs, it freaks him out a little bit more. Because he feels like if he... If he needs his foot, he's, he's like, oh, I can't have it back. No. Normally, you're very calm. Let's see if we can just get there's certain positions you can kind of put their body in which will create relaxation as a default see how his head went down that time so if you can put any type of bend anywhere in their body and get softness it will kind of see how soft he got that time it will force which their brain to relax okay. when they're in a place of tension okay. that's why we do like the bend to a stop and disengaging the hindquarters it also gets their body to do good things but what those movements do to the brain have a really awesome positive effect they can't do them softly and hold tension okay. so it it almost forces them to relax But he still hasn't licked and chewed. Yeah, his mouth is still tight. Yeah. 
Yeah. He doesn't want to get in trouble. And he's anticipating that if he does the wrong thing, that he may get in trouble. Hold on, bub. Hold on. Let me look at it. I know. Are you gonna fall down? <laughs> Did he bump his butt? He bumped into it, yeah. I was trying to <sighs> I couldn't tell he was that close. Yeah, we were Come on. Close. <laughs> now we'll blow. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. So we'll keep his head toward that again so that he doesn't get into that situation. And you can bet your booty I'll be making my husband move it. <laughs> All right. Now come forward. Right there. No. There. Now just stand there for a second. There he is looking at you. I thought he was going to run you over some No. Most of the time they won't. As long as, it, like, he took the only way, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they'll, they'll really try at all costs not to. 